Welcome to our channel. Today we're exploring the story of the Hawker Siddeley Buccaneer, one of Britain's most remarkable naval strike aircraft. Developed in the 1950s for the Royal Navy, the Buccaneer was designed to fly low and fast, slipping beneath enemy radar to deliver powerful attacks against ships and ground targets. It quickly earned a reputation as a rugged, reliable, and highly effective aircraft that served for decades. The Buccaneer was built with a unique, area-ruled, fuselage and high-mounted wings, optimized for high-speed, low-level flight. Its ability to skim just above the waves at nearly supersonic speeds made it extremely difficult to detect and intercept. Designed to carry nuclear weapons, conventional bombs, and later advanced missiles, it was a versatile strike platform that could adapt to the needs of the Cold War era. First entering service with the Royal Navy in 1962, the Buccaneer soon proved its worth. When the Royal Air Force adopted it in the late 1960s, the aircraft found a second home and continued to serve in multiple roles. The Buccaneer's combat record was also notable. During the Gulf War in 1991, it played a vital role in laser designating targets for Allied aircraft, proving its relevance even after decades of service. Pilots admired the Buccaneer for its stability, toughness, and precision at low altitudes. Despite being overshadowed by flashier supersonic fighters, it carved out its own legacy as a dedicated strike aircraft. Its ability to penetrate enemy defenses at low level made it one of the most respected aircraft of its time. The Hawker Siddeley Buccaneer retired in the 1990s, but it remains a legend in British aviation history. A true workhorse of the skies, it showcased British engineering brilliance and left behind a legacy of strength, versatility, and reliability. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more amazing aircraft stories.